Hey everyone, so back here again, back here again. Um, I'm Irma, if you haven't been following along. Why can't... It's okay if you haven't. Welcome to my channel, just a quick little intro. Um, you'll find tech and code here, so if you're interested in both or one or the other, there is probably, probably a video for you on this channel, so keep subscribed, keep staying tuned, more videos coming soon. That kind of rhymed, kind of. This week, if you've been following along, is video for week four of one month. And if you haven't been following along, week four is the last week. So the course itself is composed of four weeks, four projects. Each week you work and learn a little bit more about JavaScript in order to build that, that project weekly. So if you wanna check out my three other videos that I've already done for this, I will leave a link to them down below. And they're, they should also be at the end of this video in the cards section. Um, but I have also put these into a playlist. If you're interested in that as well, that's, that's also an option. Yeah, so I'm essentially going to be going over week four. If you guys want to take a look at onemonth.com, they offer courses on code coding languages. So JavaScript, Ruby, they have a course on React as well. Um, and HTML, CSS, if you're, uh, if you're beginning or if you want to brush up on your HTML and CSS. Um, they offer those courses for a membership price or for um, just a one-time course course purchase. So I'll leave a link down below to a discount code that will get you a little bit off either one of those membership or course prices, which is pretty neat. So let's go ahead and get started with this video right now. So week four, um, as always, very interesting and very challenging. Um, if you didn't know my JavaScript background, I've been trying to learn JavaScript for, since I think January, but it's it's been very on and off. So I haven't like actually stuck to anything. Um, I've been like jumping between courses, which is terrible to do, um, in my opinion. And I feel like other people would agree on that. So um, I decided to take up this one month course so that I would be able to have a more structured schedule. So every week I would be learning something JavaScript related, building something and repeating that for weeks, four weeks in a row, which in my eyes, and that's what works for me, I do better with structure and um, schedule. So week four, essentially the project was to use everything that we had learned week three, week one through week three and um, use the Google Charts API. So the Google Charts API allows you to display charts on a page, so on a site. Um, and those charts are essentially um, fed the data through your code. So in your code, you would write up and you would put all of this hard coded data, um, and numbers or, and values, and then that would get spit out into a Google chart, which you can pick between literally any type of chart you can think of bar charts, circle, ch circle charts, pie charts, dot charts, anything. So that's essentially what Google charts does. It just creates you a visual chart that you can share with people. We use that, but we also use this thing called Tabletop JS. And Tabletop JS, what it does is that it allows you to connect your Google Charts API to a Google Sheet. So you would place your data in this case in a Google Sheet. So you'd have different rows, different values, and all of those values would get, then get spit out onto that Google Chart that you created. So you'd have your Google chart using the data from this Google sheet, which essentially is a little bit easier and better to do that, do it that way, just because um, that way your data isn't hard coded. Um, and you don't have to go back into your code and like edit stuff. You can just go into the Google sheet. If you need to update a number, add a new, um, add a new row, a new column that can get easily in real time, um, placed into your Google sheet, Google sheet saves and your website gets updated with that with that data, which is super freaking cool. So yeah, we started off with an, int with an introduction of literally what we were gonna be building. Um, and I was just like mind blown because how? Um, but then after we got started, I'm like, okay, I kind of understand this. Um, it's just essentially piecing the piecing everything together to work. So that took me a little bit to get a hang of. I had to get help on um, the connecting part of how do I take this this Google sheet with tabletop.js and how do I connect it to this uh, Google chart to display? Um, for me, I had an issue because it was displaying in the um, in my in my console, but it wasn't displaying on the actual actual chart. So I was like, "What's happening?" And it turned out to be I had to do a bunch of console.logs and constantly out my errors. 
um, and also just using dev tools a lot and uh, opening up my objects and all that. So it turned out that I wasn't using the correct um, the correct naming for for the charts. So like uh, Google Charts was trying to look for something that wasn't even a, a chart name. So, yeah, so I got through it. I got um, I got the project done. Um, and was really what's really also a really neat perk is that you you're able to get a certificate at the end of this week whole four weeks um so you can actually add that to your linkedin or um your personal website and that way employers employers will know that you have um taken a course on javascript which doesn't hurt to have um it's not necessary but of course it's a nice nice to have as long as you understand what the course uh the course taught you um that that fundamental is really important and um, of course, this isn't, this isn't a course that's gonna answer all of your JavaScript questions. You still have to keep learning after this. It's a constant learning process. That is pretty much it for this video. This is week four, so no more one month JS videos. Uh, maybe I'll do another one in the future on another course. No plans for that at this moment right now. Um, but yeah, if you guys wanna check them out, of course, I highly recommend them, professors. Their community is super awesome. Um, I'll leave a link down below to to that, and that'll also give you a 20% off their courses, um, which is a really neat little thing. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video, um, which I'm not sure. Is it going to be code? Is it going to be tech? Might be both. So I'll see you guys in the next one, and thank you guys for watching. Bye. That's the way that it's supposed to be.